are good. Oh, it's serious. It's the handling of this is this precision handling. Despite all my smiles, deep down, I'm quite a worried man. This is amazing now. Pike's folly was slightly lower at the stern than we'd expected, which meant the engine mountings were just below the waterline. But soon, we had other worries. Is it steering OK? Yeah, are we going towards those, those, um, those yachts there, Dallas? I know, I'm trying to steer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, it's impossible to steer it. I'm doing my best. Either Dallas had no idea what he was doing with this five and a half ton craft, or it's a lot harder to control than anyone had first thought. Okay, yeah, straight from there. Still, with a few scenic detours, he finally plucked up the courage to give us some welly. And for a while, she behaved. But just for a while. Right hand down, right hand down, right hand down a little bit. Okay. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Oh, it's in reverse. It's in reverse. It's in reverse. Okay. Reverse. It's in reverse. It's in reverse. It's in reverse. You're all right. Despite the ram raiding, we had to press on. It's okay, right? That we hit. Dallas was so focused on his driving, he failed to mention the engine mountings had begun to leak and the stern compartment was filling with water. Another 40 minutes and then we're in the soup. We had to speed up, so we took on a new skipper from the RNLI. Do we need any bailing in there? We've got so much water in the back here. But the extra weight at the back only made things worse. What started as a trickle through the transom became a deluge. You get the to move forward. But at least we made some progress towards our destination, HMS Diamond, whose finest were lining up to salute the genius of Geoffrey Pike. Check this out, guys. And the folly of Bang. Whoa. Here we go, here we go, look. Whoa. Whoa. Sadly, it was a compliment we were unable to return, as no sooner had they doffed their caps, our engine cut out. Dallas, I'm going to get right to the front while you bail that out, because well, there's a submarine there. Maybe we should go see that. The Pycrete was holding up just fine, apart from the crucial little bit around the engine mounts. There's loads of water in the back, so the guys are trying to deal with it with um, the electric pump. From now on, we were in survival mode. I'm taking a 